I have a question for you guys. Eze from Crystal Palace to Arsenal. Who says no? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section as we get this show started. As you guys already know, Eze is a former Arsenal Academy player, and he's once in the past said that, just hear him uh, himself. He said it himself. Arsenal is probably the hardest. So my dream is to play for them. So hearing them say no at 13, that was, that was tough. And I remember like training after I got released and I couldn't like, focus. I was crying after I trained them. I did it. I was like, <laughs> So there you go. Him saying himself that playing for one of the hardest times was when he got uh, when he when he lost his position in the Arsenal thing, and it was a dream to play for the club. And now that dream could come back to potentially being a reality, as Eze is now being linked to Arsenal once again. Yes, Eze is now being linked to Arsenal once again. Eze of course, has a 60 million pound release cause. Crystal Palace are looking to potentially ship him out this upcoming summer as Elise is already also on his way. And this is what the reports are saying. This came from Team News Ticks about 16 minutes ago on his Patreon. I've been told by two unconnected people, Arsenal are looking at Eze. I know a lot of people at the club like him. Eze is a very affordable release clause around 60 million but a large amount of the release cost has to pay paid up front so we know we want wingers we know we've been looking at wingers as they seems to be just another one of those wingers that we are now looking at now i can give you guys the list of wingers that we're looking at in a second but before we do that please do make sure you guys do hit the like on the video and let me know would you take as a at arsenal now the thing about Eze is, at Crystal Palace, he has had an interesting, interesting time. Last season and the season before, he's had two back-to-back -back consistent years where he played a plethora of games, got 10-plus goals, and around four assists in both campaigns. His first debut season, he scored 34, uh, played 34 games and scored four goals, got six assists, and he had an off year in 2021-2022 where he was injured. The former Arsenal Academy graduate uh, or Academy player is now potentially on the move this summer as Tottenham are interested in him, Arsenal are interested in him, and you've had a plethora of other clubs also interested in him. We will have to wait and see if we are serious about the player. Is he somebody you guys would want? The thing about Eze is his, his wages would probably be very affordable as Rashford's wages would be ridiculous. Currently, he's making 100k a week at Crystal Palace, where the other targets that we're looking at, they want a lot more money. They they really do want a lot more money. Let me just give you an example. Marcus Rashford, 300 plus k a week. Pedro Neto, that would be an affordable deal, but he does have injury injury risks with him. There's also the player in Nico. Kyle Williams, who plays for Spain and Atletico Bilbao. He is another player who's extremely, uh, Arsenal are extremely interested in, but could cost a pretty penny. So from these four targets, you look at that right there. You see Marcus Rashford, 300k plus. Nico Williams, 300k plus. I don't actually know how much Xavi Simons makes per week. Let me see. But with Eze making, Eze's wages being 100k a week, uh, Nico Williams, what's his wages per week? He makes 30k per week. So Nico, uh, Ni uh, Xavi, Xavi Simons is probably the cheapest uh, out of all of them. What does Pedro Neto make per week? Let me check Pedro Neto's wages, because wages are a factor. Because think about it: if you get Nico Williams for a cheaper price tag, but you're paying him 300k a week, that is ridiculous. So at this moment in time, 
Rashford would be the highest uh, transfer fee and the highest wages per week. Then second, when it comes to highest transfer fee, would actually be Xavi Simons, but his wages is the lowest out of everybody. And I don't actually think we're seriously interested in Xavi Simons as Bayern Munich seem to be the front runner in signing Xavi Simons. Then you go to Pedro Neto, the injury history and everything else. It doesn't seem like Arsenal are serious about going in for Pedro Neto, but he does have cheap wages also as his wages is 50k a week. Then you go to Eze. Eze would be 60 million, which is in the middle, and his wages would be 100 million, which is also a lot lower than the 300 that, that Nico Williams wants and Rashford would want. So if you actually think about it, it would be the most affordable deal without the risks of, of all the issues and everything else. He's Premier League proven also. He could do good cover in many different positions in the midfield and in the 10 plus out on the wing. So my question to you guys is, would you take Eze at Arsenal? Do you think this is a potential good deal for Arsenal Football Club? Do you think we should be going for Eze personally for me? I think when it comes to the financial side of things, it does make sense. But I just don't think Eze is the beyond and end all I think there's still better opportunities that could come arise in the market. For example, if a, a Rodrigo becomes available, everyone will be going crazy to try to get Rodrigo over the line. I do think Nico Williams is even a better player than Eze, but he doesn't have the Premier League experience. Also, he doesn't have, what do you call it, that that cheap wages, where Eze is going to be a lot cheaper than the likes of Nico Williams. Nico Williams is going to uh, he has he's set his demands at 300k wherever he goes. So wherever he goes, Nico Williams wants 300k. That would make him one of the highest paid players at Arsenal. And I just don't think Arsenal is willing to do that. So they might not meet his wage demands. But yeah. So that's being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much everything going on over here with the with Arsenal transfer news today. So my question to you guys is very simple. Who would you want Arsenal to sign as a winger? Would you want the likes of Marcus Rashford, who would be a ridiculous transfer fee and high wages? Would you want Nico Williams, who would be a reasonably cheap transfer fee, but would be crazy wages? Do you, would you take the risk on a Pedro Neto, who has a terrible injury record, but yet Arsenal could get over the line as his transfer fee would be reasonable now? Uh, and I think it would be around $60 million potentially for him also. But at the same time, it would, it would be a lot reasonable when it comes to the wages. And finally... You got Xavi Simons, who I highly rate, but unless we're getting him on loan with an option to buy, I don't see that happening. And if PSG do sell, they're going to want 85 million plus, and the player is heavily linked to Bayern. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens there. But for me, Eze does make sense. And the reason why I'm asking you guys about this today is, would you take Eze at Arsenal? Let me know. I think it would be good cover for Bukayo Saka, and it would definitely help us in many different areas on the pitch. But yeah, there's not much news today. That's the only story that's out. So I wanted to get this video out there for you guys. Hopefully you guys like this upload. Hopefully you like the video. Hit the like on the video if you haven't already done so. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And we're out of here, people. Love for the love. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you really think. I'm out of here, people. Peace.